Welcome back to Ground Zero. Hey Vivian, hmm? what naughty words can you turn the words uh, Tampanese Leisure Park into? Mm, I'm not very creative, <laughs> but it seems these vendors are much more creative with what they can turn the words Tampanese Leisure Park into. Cheeky vendors have turned the sign at the entrance of the park into something that's a little more salacious. Stumper Calvin was shocked to see these words at the park entrance and wonders how soon the missing characters will be replaced. This park is located near schools and childcare centres and the Stomper thinks it's going to be very interesting when young children ask their parents about the words that they're going to see. While 76% of Stompers rated this story lower, the Stomper Zero Rider X was not amused. He writes, This is something that ruins Singapore's image and brings up ethical issues. Yet the guy thinks it's funny. I live in Tampines and I'm irritated to know something like that has happened. What's wrong with the vendor, man? Now, some stompers have suggested that the photos are photoshopped, but to prove otherwise, Stomper Kelvin posted close-up photos of the scene. Stomper B-Boy slash GNR also backed up Stomper, saying, LOL, it's real lah, I stay around the area some more. Stomper Too Spastic applauded the Stomp contributor for his sharp eyes. A round of applause for our fellow Stomper for reporting real news. Job well done. Pets the Stomper on the back. <laughs> now, some stompers... You know, have asked the contributor why he posted a photo of the sign before the vandalism. Hmm. They seem to think that it means that he knew the vandalism act was going to occur. So That's he, you know, took a before photo. Stomper Kelvin, the contributor, defends himself by saying, I provided the before photo to show others what it looked like before. I googled Tampanese Leisure Park and under images, you can clearly see the one that I sent. It was not taken by me. <laughs> anyway, since the authorities have been informed of the vandalism as the words have all disappeared. I wonder if the vendors will be caught. You know, in Singapore, vandalism is punishable with a fine, caning, and even a jail term. Yeah, you know, remember the Swiss guy who spray painted the MRT train, Oliver Fricker? He was sentenced to five months jail and three strokes of the cane. Yeah, I remember that case. I covered it. Mm. <laughs> well, now that the vendors know what's in store for them, if they get caught, hopefully they won't do it again. I wouldn't dare. In our final clip, watch the entire homemade video about commuter wolves in Singapore. You really don't want to miss it.